South Korean President Yoon Sang Yeol's renewed ties with the United States and Japan in the face of North Korea's looming nuclear threat. And indeed, there's quite a lot to say about Yoon's visit to Europe for the NATO summit in Madrid. Let's start with the topic that's dominated headlines, North Korea. So, President Yoon met with his American and Japanese counterparts, Joe Biden and Fumio Kishida, on the sidelines of the summit. Yoon stressed the growing importance of cooperation between their three countries, with North Korea's nuclear and missile threats becoming more sophisticated and increased instability in international affairs. He added that their meeting could establish their trilateral cooperation as an important central axis for world peace and stability. With Biden expressing ongoing concern about a possible nuclear test by North Korea, reports suggest the US is preparing to expand sanctions against North Korean people and institutions to block the source of funding for weapons of mass destruction. Kishida called on the three countries to respond to a nuclear test with joint military exercises. And after years of frosty Seoul-Tokyo ties, a South Korean presidential official told reporters after the trilateral summit that security cooperation between South Korea, the US and Japan has been restored as of today. The White House also described the meeting, the Sudan, first of its kind uh, since 2017, as historic uh, and very Virginia. successful. We should point out that this trip's significance does extend beyond that trilateral relationship. President Yoon's summit diplomacy has been busy and continues today as part of wider efforts to promote nuclear power plant construction abroad by South Korea, as well as weapon exports. The agendas for Yoon's meetings this week with the leaders of Britain, the Czech Republic, the Netherlands and Romania all include Seoul's goal to build nuclear power plants in those countries. Also, Yoon has been pushing South Korea's weapon systems, with Poland taking interest. South Korea is seeking to become the world's third or fourth largest defense power over the next five years, according to Senior Presidential Secretary for Economic Affairs, Che Sang Mok. And another important factor is strengthening supply chains in advanced industries, particularly semiconductors and batteries. With all this focus on President Yoon, we shouldn't overlook his wife, First Lady Kim Gon Hee. She's had a busy trip of her own, bonding with the spouses of some important strategic partners. As part of an official program for those spouses of leaders attending the NATO summit, First Lady Kim toured a royal palace, a glass factory, and a contemporary art museum in Spain yesterday. She chatted with Queen Letizia of Spain about Korean beauty products, while also telling her that in Korea, people of the same age naturally draw closer, as they established that they'll both turn 50 this September. But Kim also took some advice from other first ladies about the difficulties of the role. And US First Lady Jill Biden apparently told her to just be yourself. 